Hey awesome ones, Heather here. All right, who needs a little bit of TLC right about now? Well, I do. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. So what I'm, this is kind of like one of those get ready with me kind of videos where I'm going to do a bit of a mini spa day and why don't you join me? It all starts in just a few seconds. So the idea with this video is watch the whole thing and then I've really made sure that a lot of the things that I'm using you're going to have something like it's similar at home like you probably will and if you say geez I'd really like to get that particular product of course I'm going to have some uh, product links and things like that below the video for you but uh, what I want to do is just sort of show you how you can start to do this pamper day spa day I mean well maybe not a whole day maybe it's just a few hours but I really encourage you right now to do this at least once a week so first of all you need to make sure you have some time to do this and I'm going to suggest at least three hours so kind of block off that time sometime during the week and if you can do it tonight <laughs> but what you're going to do first of all is you're going to have a nice long bath or maybe if you prefer maybe have a shower now I've already done that but one thing I'm going to remind you to do and uh, <laughs> this might be a wake-up call for some of you is don't forget you got to shave those legs all right so I hope you took more than five minutes for that bath or uh, the shower baths are actually for me anyway they're just a little bit more pamper like but uh, after you're all dried off it's time for some moisturizer and you want to put this on your legs and you want to put this on your arms and well this one that I have here it's just from Nivea um, but it's really lovely it's cocoa butter and it's got a lovely scent to it so uh, you want to make sure that you do that and then of course snuggle into one of your nice robes or some people call them house coats and uh, the more spa like the better so the next thing we want to do is we want to put on some face cream and starting with the eyes and I have found that uh, I'm really starting to see more wrinkles this year than I did even last year so I've kind of upped my game as far as the moisturizers that I use and for my eye cream I don't know if you can see this but um, it's by Strivectin it's a gel cream it goes on very it goes on like butter it's just lovely but it's not greasy and this isn't I'm not doing a commercial for them but uh, it has that hyaluronic um, acid which sounds awful but it's actually quite good for you and so I put that around my eyes and then also on my face and especially on my neck I'm using this uh, strivectin I don't know if you can see that there but what I like about this product is it goes on very very smooth again it's not greasy but it also has um, it says it has advanced retinol which uh, that's what I'm talking about upping my game so I really need to uh, put that on and by the way whenever you put cream I don't know if I already mentioned this or not but always put the cream on a dry face so make sure that your your face is dry and not still wet from the shower now you've got to find yourself like your little space and this could be a corner of a room or maybe there's a little guest room or for me I just found this little this is tucked into the kitchen area and since it's just Bill and I right now he knows to stay away when I'm in my sanctuary area and I even have a pillow that says rejuvenate in here and I, I like the greenery I like the fact that I can put some maybe classical music or some soft music on and you know everything's around me that I need so make sure that you kind of scope out your little piece of heaven for yourself there and uh, the next step that I wanted to talk about are our nails I am kind of embarrassed to show you but this is real life right now these are my nails 
and as you can see I had a nice kind of frosted nail polish on it it's all worn off right now and I've been living like that for a few days and it's like oh well who's looking at my nails and that's no no so I'm gonna get out my nail polish remover I suggest that you do that as well and I'm going to uh, take off all my nail polish and start fresh all right, for the next step, it's time to do our cuticles. And this is from Sally Hansen. It's a vitamin E cuticle remover. And it kind of goes on a little bit just like, um, just like nail polish. It's got kind of a nail polish start um, applicator, I guess you call it here. Although my finger shaking here, huh? Weird. Anyway, um, just sort of put it on. Now, I'm not going to do all of my nails right now, but what you do is you leave that on for a little while, and I don't know how you can see it, if you can see it better this way, but you leave that on for a little while, and then what you're going to take is a gizmo like this, and I'll put that up against me too so you can see that. And then when this is dry, we're going to push back all of the cuticles, and uh, you guys know how to do this. You can do this for your toes as well and I just want to show you one other thing see that nasty age spot right there well I'm not going out right now but if I was going out I'm going to show you a little trick here I put on some concealer and then it's uh, nasty age spot be gone <laughs> So my cuticles are all pushed back and then of course I wash my hands and aren't we getting great at washing our hands these days? <laughs> but I also wanted to shape my nails a little bit and I'm using a glass nail file and I find it so much nicer than the, those kind of sandpapery nail polishes I, or nail files I should say. I find when I use those I kind of just, I just don't get a really smooth kind of feel to them so uh, yeah. Yeah, my nails are all, cuticles are done, nails are shaped, time for the nail polish. Now for now, I'm going to choose a bright color. I, I don't want to go with something muted like this. I even have purples here, but I'm going to char, I, this would be a nice color too. I kind of like this one, but I want to feel vibrant right now. So I'm going to choose the red right here. And uh, I think I will just do a nail or two for you to show you how I, I put on the nail polish. Now, remember when you're putting on nail polish, like don't just glob it all on. You're going to want to do at least two coats of the nail polish. Uh, this one is Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and I'm not too sure what color it is. Uh, okay, it's 373. Five, it looks like well I'll put the link below anyway if I can find it but there we go with the red and let me just show you um, how I would do this on one or two nails here just bear with me so what you do oh this is hard to do without seeing it put a little bit down the middle like that and then let me just see if I can show you and then you do the sides <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this sort of sitting down a little bit myself but there you go and this is a very nice coat here but I still would do another one and uh, let me finish that up for you for the sake of time in the video and we'll just go ahead Ta -da! <laughs> All right. I've got beautiful red nails and you know what if you really look closely at them they're not perfect they're not like a real spa or a real nail spa did them but they are just fine for me now I do want them to last until at least next week so what I want to put on next is a top coat this is just a clear top coat it's uh, again Sally Hansen it looks like I like a lot of those products so I'm going to put put that on my nails and hey don't forget to do your toenails too you know you want to have this kind of vibrance about you right now so uh, hey and by the way I did a video talking about vibrance um, we don't want to be wearing our robes or our pajamas every single day so I did do a video on you know how to change up your looks every day if you're staying at home and what I'll do and some ideas of what to do some activities too and what I'll do is I'll put that uh, link to the video on the end screen of this one so enjoy that too so now that we have the nail polish on and the top coat on, it's time for some hand cream. Sorry, this looks well used, but 
every night I put on this hand cream and it's a lavender hand cream from Locatan. I think that's how you pronounce it. And these are essential oils of lavender. So when I put this on my hands at night, I just feel like going to sleep. It's just, it's just delicious as they say. But what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit on here and then just kind of rub that in here into my hands and of course I'd be doing both hands but uh, as you can see it's just oh, my skin is literally drinking that up I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two hands here but it's it's just drinking it up and again this is not a commercial or anything but this happens to be my favorite hand cream oh and by the way you remember our first step of this uh, pamper day well we were well hopefully a lot of you decided yeah I think I'll take a nice soak in a bath and da 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 <laughs> Locatane also makes a bubble bath so uh, yeah if, again this is just great stuff and and the essence of all the essential oils of lavender uh, just don't fall asleep in the bathtub though but it's just again delicious it feels lovely back there <laughs> don't fall asleep now what would a spa day be without refreshment time so what I have here is I've got a really nice teapot and a herbal tea for me so I'm just gonna pour that herbal tea and also don't forget to have some water with you as well you want to be drinking water as well during the day but also what I have here are some mixed nuts and I've got some almonds in there that are really good for you and I've also cut up an orange for vitamin C hey we got to keep our health going our mental health for the spa day and also our health health our inner health with a little bit of real vitamin C here so thought whatever you like to do for refreshments but just kind of keep it light and uh, keep it healthy now make sure in your sanctuary area that you have something to read and some old magazines like these ones are great to, you know even though you've read them it's maybe nice right now to reread them again and the other thing is if you're going well you will be going grocery shopping I haven't gone grocery shopping now for over two weeks like I'm really letting it everything kind of stretch but when I do go grocery shopping they do have an area for magazines so I'm going to make sure that I pick my Myself up one or two now another thing that you can put in your sanctuary area is some of your favorite books now maybe you don't want to read a novel again but there are some great inspirational books out there and maybe down in your garage or something you can find them as well um, I recently bought this book by Oprah and it's called the path made clear it's a beautiful beautiful book um, the illustrations in it are absolutely gorgeous and they're just little inspirational messages from people like Deepak Chopra and uh, who else do we have we also have Goldie Hawn there's lots of people in here and it's such a beautiful book especially right now and you might even want to put on some instrumental spa like music while you're sort of doing this pamper day and what you don't want to do uh, is watch the news turn on the TV or start scrolling through your phone this is this is your quiet time where we kind of leave all that behind us now depending what you're sitting in you might be sitting on the sofa or you might be sitting in one of those lazy boy chairs and with all this lavender and just feeling relaxed you might even drift off to sleep and you know what that's okay like it's okay if you just decide oh, I think I need to have a little nap because a lot of us need that right now so now is the time to really take care of yourself this is this is the self-care time the TLC time and so make sure that you do do this for yourself once a week so once a week and repeat so now it's time to bring out my little spa companion my little hurricane here my little Yorkie and uh, hurricane and I were going to be doing more kind of of these get ready with me at home type of videos for you and uh, yeah you know you might as well hang out with me <laughs> while I'm sort of staying at home too <laughs> anyway so uh, thank you very much so Stay 
pampering yourself you know remember the TLC and oh by the way if you haven't checked out our other channel which is youtube.com slash awesome over 50 inspiration I've got some of my favorite movies over there some cooking ideas all kinds of things to help you be at home and please take care of yourself stay healthy and we'll see you again real soon.